Hi everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it feels like years since I've said that. Um, hence this video. Yeah, it feels like forever since I've started a video like that. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I make videos all the time, or I try to. Um, we just moved into a basement apartment until we move out of here into our townhouse. So we're kind of in limbo, which is why my videos have kind of been in limbo. And I've just been so like in a rut creatively. Um, we don't have any of like our furniture here. And is that? Oh, I thought there was like a bug on my head. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just not like our normal space and it's been affecting me more than I thought that it would and so It's been harder for me to vlog. It's been harder for me to make videos. It's been harder for me to do YouTube altogether, but I thought tonight I would do a little bit of a different video uh, than I normally do. I love like night routines and morning routines and stuff like that. And when it comes to nighttime, I am like specifically very passionate <laughs> about my sleep and the last few nights I haven't been sleeping well. Um, I've just been super anxious and really haven't been sleeping and so I'm not really sure like what's going on. Um, I feel like I'm fine like one day I'm fine and then the other day it's like I'm being too like I'm worried about it too much that it makes it harder to sleep. So I thought that I would do a video just to remind myself uh, nonetheless of things that make me happy and uh, a night routine that like I enjoy and that I feel comfortable with and so whenever I'm having a little bit of a harder time maybe I can look back at this video and it can help me and maybe for some of you that might struggle with this um, it will help you guys too so I hope that you guys enjoy this video it's something new for me um, but yeah I think it's something that I'm really needing right now and really want to share so let's get into this very very relaxed and happy nighttime routine so i just got off of work uh not too long ago just a couple hours ago i didn't work out today which is probably um a big thing for me i usually try to work out every single day which if sebastian's watching doesn't always happen <laughs> um so probably like six five five to six times a week um is what i feel happy with i did yoga yesterday and then i also have plans to work out with my friend um later on this week so we have a couple classes that we want to do so i feel like totally fine being able to come home and not work out because sometimes your body needs rest and when i'm doing um, when I'm trying to do like a very relaxed, calming, um, routine, it doesn't always involve working out, even though sometimes it's nice to stretch and do yoga and like meditate that way. But for right now, I just wanted to get into my comfy clothes. So I'm wearing not cute comfy clothes. Um, I'm literally wearing these sweats that have like little patches all over them <laughs> and this like big oversized sweatshirt that says neaters which i ha still have no clue how i have this i've never worked at neaters i think it was when i lived with a couple roommates back in the day um it's so old it's so like it's not dirty it's just like stained but it's one of those uh like sweaters that make me feel so like hugged in and comfy i don't know what it is like it's not glamorous and whenever i wear this i just feel my best sometimes um so that's what i'm going to be doing and i'm also going to um be making some dinner uh, so a little bit about my work schedule i work monday through friday 7 to 3 30 so i have a great schedule but it's also a little bit hard because mornings are early and mornings can be rough and so this routine will also show kind of the things I like to do to help me feel like prepared um for the morning for the morning after the morning before I don't know but for the morning <laughs> tomorrow um uh, but right now yeah I like to just kind of have my time I watched a little bit of YouTube I've been cleaning up a little bit talked to Sebastian he's on his way home he gets off around like 4 30 5 ish and then he plays pickleball for a couple hours so he's on his way home now um there we're having a little bit of a sweet treat tonight as well just to do things that make us feel good and make us happy so he's picking up some cookies and yeah we're just gonna make a yummy comfort food dinner uh which i will get started on now so this is kind of what we have going on for dinner this is by far the most unhealthy dinner ever but it's also just like very warm and cozy and sebastian loves it and so i just do a little bit this is like a cream cheese spinach pasta i don't know um but i just have some 
penne here. I have some spicy sausage. Sebastian loves the hot one and it also goes really well with this recipe as well. We have baby spinach, some cream cheese, and then you just use a little bit of the heavy whipping cream, but it definitely makes it delicious. So anyway, that is what we're going to have for dinner today. Also, I got this nice like pastry board. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a big pastry board. I got this off of Amazon. I think, I can't remember how much it was, but it's so heavy duty. It's a nice marble. I think it's so cute. Obviously, it's like clashing here, but if you have just like a nice white countertop, I think it's really pretty. A black one, I don't know. Um, even just on this one, it's not too bad. But anyway, I will link this down below if you guys would like to check it out. And like I said, this is not a <laughs> healthy nighttime routine. If you guys would like to see one of those when I'm back on my health game, give this video a thumbs up and I'd be happy to do one. Another essential of mine of cooking in the kitchen, oh, hi, of cooking in the kitchen is background noise. I love a good distraction. And so I am just gonna watch some YouTube. And welcome back to another What I May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always. Dessert. Dessert. It is a little bit later now. We've just been watching TV. We watched a little bit of the Bake Off and. Now I'm about to get ready for bed. I was going to just like take a relaxing bath, but it's almost nine o'clock and I can feel myself getting pretty tired. Um, so I think, and I also have to like wash this insane crazy hair. So I have to wash my hair, so I thought I would just do a shower tonight and um, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> Wind down in the shower and then um, I'll be off to bed. <laughs> Okay, I am all nice and clean out of the shower and I feel so much better. Um, and on to, oh, I can't hear myself because my ears are so plugged. Um, but on to my skincare. So this is what I used in the shower. I use a double cleanse at night. Um, so to remove my makeup, I use the Hydro Boost uh, Hydrating Cleansing Gel from Neutrogena. That's a mouthful. It's kind of hard to see the bottle, but I really have been loving it. And then as my second cleanse to like really cleanse my face, I'm using the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. And this is just a nice little sample that I picked up at Ulta, but I've been loving it. I really, really love it. It doesn't lather up, so it doesn't like dry out my skin or anything like that. Um, it's just a nice, gentle cleanser. So now that I'm out of the shower, I'd like to go in with a toner. And this is the Heritage Store Rose Water Facial Toner. And you can't really see, but I have used quite a bit of this and I love it. I use it every single day. This helps like really tone my skin and it also helps get my skin prepped for my exfoliator um, that I'm going to use right now. So while my skin is still pretty damp, I'll go in with this Paula's Choice 2% uh, BHA liquid exfoliant. And I use this a couple, oh, it's really hard to see it. I use it a couple nights a week and I cannot say how much I love this enough. Like it has helped my skin drastically. I had a couple nights where I just got off my period. So had a couple nights where I had a breakout, but normally my skin has been so great. So I use this three times a night and it is beautiful. I'm just gonna let that sit and soak in for a couple minutes and normally this would be the time that I'm like brushing my teeth or something like that but I already did that so bless you. Okay now that that has set I've moved on to a new moisturizer and this is from uh cause I think it's like cause rx or cause ricks i don't know how to say it but i've used one of theirs before the hyaluronic acid one and i really loved it so i thought i would try the pha moisture renewal power cream it is gorgeous it's just such a nice thick moisturizer and for this time of year i just love it so i put this all over and it just feels so great it has a nice clean scent so nothing too strong the rose water one that i was using in the past had a bit of a very fragrant smell so it's nice to just not have like a smell 
but oh, I could just do this for hours. It feels so good. The last thing that I will do is I will spray my face. This is the Mario Badescu facial spray, and this is the lavender and chamomile, and I love it. I'm spraying a lot because especially on nights like tonight where I just want to get relaxed and feel good uh, Lavender is such a great smell. So I'm gonna go and make myself some sleepy time tea. That's another thing that um, I've started doing and so I'm gonna go do that but before I do I have to talk to you about my dry heels and my dry hands um, They have been such a problem for me for the last week. So I heard a lot of great things This will be in a vlog I think the next video um, I bought this in, in one of my vlogs but this is the Vermont original bag balm and it is just like this tin of basically just balm for your heels for your knees for your elbows I use it for my hands and my heels but what I like to do I just like to get a nice pair of socks and this is probably like so weird that you guys are watching this but I put a little bit and then I put some on my heels like lather it on my heels and then I stick my sock in, or sock on, like a nice little moisture cocoon, and then you're ready for bed. So I just do that literally all over my feet, and it feels so good in the morning. I don't recommend you put this on during the day because it does take some time to like soak in. So I put it on my hands, but I put it at the last second because it just gets like very greasy and oily and I know that's not everyone's favorite. So I like to wait on that till the very last second. So I'm gonna go wash these off, go make some tea, finish my water, and then we're just chilling for the rest of the night. my sleepy time tea right here. I have friends on the TV, my cozy blanket, and this is what I'm gonna be doing until I fall asleep. I'm wondering if it just like knocks me out or do I just sleep the same? I don't think it will. No? It's not like you're gonna bezel up. I know, I'm like, should I hold this hot cup? Oh like, my God. Just kidding. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, um, I didn't show one thing that I usually like to do, um, just because I'm not going to do it tonight, but I usually like to pick out my outfit in the morning, but I'm not going to do that because I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully some of these tips help you if you have had any trouble sleeping. Sebastian's nighttime routine is milk and cookies <laughs> for the last little bit. I just love you. This is my nighttime routine. You should do your nighttime routine one day. Really? Yeah. I think it'd be cool. No, I'm my morning routine. Oh, yeah. We'll do a morning routine because you'll see both of us at the same time. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.